We're going to be building a Squarespace website on an iPad Pro 2018 model uh, with the Magic Keyboard. You can also use a Magic Mouse or any other Bluetooth keyboard, Magic Trackpad that connects with your iPad. Let's dig in. All right, here we are on Squarespace.com. We're going to be trying to build a website on Squarespace uh, with the web browser. We are going to do the app eventually, but we're going to do the web browser first. Um, so here I am. I already logged in. I clicked Create a Website. And we're going to see how this goes. All right, so what is our website about? It is, let's say that our um, website is going to be about technology. Let's try that. Um, let's see. That's great. Next. Okay. Again, we're using the Magic Keyboard um, with the iPad Pro 2018. You can also use a mouse. Anything that gets you this cursor right here is going to be good. All right, what are your top goals? Let's, uh, let's just sell products. Let's uh, get through this pretty quickly. Uh, let's know what stage you're at in the process. Uh, we are turning a project or hobby into this. Let's try that. All right, here we go. All right, so we have a couple templates here. Let's pick a template. Um, let's go with this wood one, right? Yeah, I like the wood one. Let's do that. Okay, here we go. All right, so it took a little bit to load. It's doing well. Uh, this is a little preview. It looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and start with this design. Let's just do it. That's going to be a heavy image design in the background. I like that. So let's see how the iPad Pro handles it. Uh, it shouldn't have any problem chip-wise or processor-wise just to see if it can, the somewhat mobile version can handle it. Let's see. Okay, we don't need our, well, let's see if our video intros work. All right, everything looks great. I don't have any audio coming through. Uh, I think it's muted. Okay, so we're going to start the trial. All right, so here we are. We've got the website. Um, let's just go ahead and start trying to edit stuff. Let's see how we do. Live for life. Okay, everything looks good. All right, so let's say we wanted to change uh, some text. Let's start with some text. Let's see how this works. Designed. Okay. That's you know, works good. All right. Let's see if we wanted to like. Trying to like double click. Okay, this is good. Let's change the header. Let's go heading to. Okay, great. So text is going to work. Um, that's usually the easy part. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do like physical like keyboard controls. Let me try Command I to get italicized. Okay, great. So that works. That's doable. Let's add a. Uh, let's try to change this background. How about that? All right, so this is, if you look over here on the right side, this does not look good. Okay, so it doesn't have its icons, but we can, let's see, edit section, duplicate, move down, delete. Okay, so, and you can also move it up, but it can't be moved up. Let's try to move, let's try to change this background. Um, hmm. Okay, so double clicking in there, you can click your background. All right, we can change and make it a video. That's great. Uh, right, you can use a Vimeo and YouTube link. Ooh, sweet. Uh, let's try a let's try a YouTube link and see what happens. All right, I've got a video for us. We're gonna copy and paste that. Command V. Searching for the video, and it got it. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and let that do its thing, and it's doing nothing. Hmm. But it's still there, so. Assumedly, it's still going to work. Maybe when we get out of the, the mobile version, it'll work. Uh, okay, great. Moving on. Let's save this, and let's see if it changes anything. It is a large video, so it might be a problem as well. Um, but good to know you can get it to work. It's still going to play. Uh, that's great. Okay. No worries. So we can go back to our image. because uh, That's better. Okay. Great. So that works. Uh, let's say we wanted to move this down. That Okay, that was quick. That works pretty well. I can move this back down. Let's we'll swap that. Okay, great. Um, so the buttons, we can edit the buttons. We can change the link. We can change the design of where that's placed. I like the large buttons personally. Anytime you've got a button on a website, I think you should make it bigger. And then if you can bold the text, you probably can't here. Yep. Yep. Uh, anytime you have a button on a website, make it big, make it bold. Uh, make it stand out. I like how they have the, like that orangey, burnt orange color. That's going to pop out. It's going to make people want to click it. So that's good. So everything scrolls really well. Um, that's great. Testimonials are there. Fantastic. Images look good. All right. So we're going to move on. 
um, to some more design. We're going to actually try to add something specific now. So we're going to go over here to this little plus sign. You just pull it over any kind of text box, any kind of space or anything like that. Press the plus button. I'm going to do it over the spacer. And we are going to add a calendar. Okay. Well, it looks weird because it's in the, a weird spot. Okay, so the calendar is right here in the middle above a spacer, so it's in this really tiny spot, so we obviously want to move it. Now, this is going to be the test of an iPad, is can we move it without getting that to happen? Okay, nope. Okay, let's try that. Nope. Hmm. Oh, man. This is the fun part. I'm having, I, I don't think I can move this. I can't even resize it. That is a problem for sure. Uh, okay, so I can't move that. Let me try to move another section. Oh, no. Okay, none of these sections are going to move. Maybe if I try my finger, I don't think it's going to help, to be honest. Nope. Let me, so I can edit. I can edit information, but I can't move it. So if you can move sections up and down, like whenever you click the section, you don't have these buttons here, but you can figure out the move. Move down, move up. But I can't, oh, that's tragic. I can't. Uh, I can't move any smaller text blocks or anything like that. So anything like this, I can't, I can't switch text over here with text over here. I just, I can't do it. Oh, tragedy. Okay, uh, let's see if we just switch the mobile. I don't think that's going to help, but it makes it look better at least. Yeah, man, tragic. Okay. Uh, well, it, it flows really well. It looks great. Uh, but Squarespace does not have the needed uh, website plugins or just friendly compatibility with an iPad. Because again, this cursor is still kind of a finger uh, the way it clicks. So this is really unfortunate. We're going to try the app next uh, and see if that is any better. So stick with us. And we're back on the Squarespace app. We're going to see what we can do in comparison to the browser version of Squarespace, squarespace.com. We're going to see if the app has any limitations, and we're going to dig in. So the app looks really clean. I like it so far. Uh, you've got all your pages over here. And the, the web version had all of this. I didn't get into it because it's pretty much the same stuff. There, it probably is a little bit more on the web version, uh, but those are probably going to work because that's just typical web browsing. It's really the meat of it is going to be the design part and the editing and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and double-click in. Okay, we can't double click in, but we can click edit. So we're clicking edit. Um, and we're gonna see what we can do here. We can add a section, yikes, okay. Brings us right here. Can add a whole giant thing. Okay, so remember earlier we had this calendar thing that looked really bad. Um, also, before we get into that, let's know we can also move up, move down. Uh, we can also delete a giant section that we do not need. That looks good, okay. And we can edit it, so let's click into this section real quick and edit. We can format the size, uh, the content width, the content alignment. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we can do all that stuff. Uh, we can even edit. Okay, we can even get more specific here with specific numbers, that's great. We can get the background. We can also do video. And the YouTube video works, but it doesn't do anything different. So I guess it's just not going to play um, in the background, but that's okay. We'll check that later. When we actually visit the website, we'll make that part of the background. All right, in colors, you can adjust that too. You can change anything you want there. Um, oh, I wonder if I can undo without having to cancel. Let's try Command Z. Oh, that does not work. So if you messed up on the coloration or anything, I don't know if you can undo it. Uh, maybe this... All right, so you can't undo it. Don't make a mistake, unless you just want to cancel the whole thing. All right, we're going to try to move this calendar now because that looks gross. We're going to try to move this calendar. Okay, there's the calendar. Unsupported block. Currently editing this block is not supported. Visit Squarespace from your desktop computer to edit this block. Okay, so can we even move it? No. Let me move it. Okay. Can't move it. Can we move this? No. Can't move that. Okay, so we're running into the same problems we ran on the website on the browser. We cannot move text box. I am shocked by this. Can't, cannot move it. Two fingers, no. Cannot move it, wow. Okay, so we can move sections. You can move and edit a section fairly easily. You can edit stuff, 
But if you're going to be building a website, man, uh, you can. You just kind of got to be content with wherever they put your stuff. Uh, let's try to add something. Let's try to add like a text box. I know we can add sections. Let's see if I wanted to add a text box. Uh, okay, let's see if I can... Okay, let's do... A... This is just the style editor. No? Okay. So it looks like I can't even add a button or I can't... Wow, I am... I'm shocked. This is really stripped down. Man, I guess that answers that. Well, while we're here, let's check out some other things just in case. Um, the analytics, those I'm sure will all work. I don't have any because this is not a published um, website. Commerce, looks like it's good. You got your orders, your inventory. Uh, you got your different pages you can look at. Um, it really runs smoothly. I mean, it looks fantastic, but you can't do anything with it. You can edit text, change a background, or move a whole section, but you can't anything else. And I don't think that's the iPad's fault. I think that's Squarespace's fault. So you can still move a page. Let's see, up here we have our menu. About services, gallery book consult consultation. We can manage that. We can put book consultation up front. We do that. So you can make minor edits, but man, I, I, I don't think you can really build a whole website. You could if you absolutely had to and you were content with just putting anything where you wanted it. That'd be fine. But uh, man, this is rough. Well, there we have it, folks. Um, pretty disappointed in Squarespace. Pretty disappointed. Uh, it looks beautiful on the app, but there is very little to no functionality at all in the app or in the browser. The browser is uh, just it's slightly better because you can actually add some blocks. Like I was able to add that calendar. I couldn't add any blocks in the app, not at all. Um, and you could just have a lot more information that you can choose from um, on the website. Honestly, I think I would use the website before I would use the the app. Honestly, unless I just had a quick thing I needed to do, I'd pull the app up, but I'd probably just do it on my phone at that point. I don't think I'd waste the iPad's time. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty disappointing how much, well, how little you can do really um, on the iPad app or the web browser. For Squarespace and um, Squarespace needs to get their get their game up. So I would say no, you cannot build a website on Squarespace. You can edit one, barely, but you can't you can't build one. Well, guys, I guess we found the answer to our question. Uh, Squarespace does not work well uh, on an iPad. You can make minor edits like text, colors, backgrounds, video stuff like that, but you cannot move content blocks. You can move sections. That's about it. If you want to move text or swap a text in a photo left and right, you can't do it. Um, so my recommendation for Squarespace on an iPad is not yet. Uh, hopefully Squarespace gets a little bit better, uh, at least with their browser functionality uh, with an iPad, with the cursor and with the pointer. Uh, I'm kind of bummed. I do work with Squarespace a little bit, so this is disappointing. I pretty much have to do stuff on a laptop, on a desktop which is a really big bummer for me. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have more questions about Squarespace on an iPad, whether the app or the browser, let me know. Put those in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I try to get to every comment and reply to it uh, as quick as I can. So please do that. Or if you have a suggestion on another uh, website provider, I should do. That would be great too. Uh, if you like this content, man, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you like knowing how to use your iPad for work and daily life, uh, this is the channel for you. I'll be posting more videos more and more. Uh, and also, if you like the video, man, just click the like button. Uh, if you didn't, you can hit dislike. Haters are cool. Uh, I like you too. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.